welcome to the fifth episode of Unstoppable Equestrian. I'm Danielle Pools from Dressage Plus and today I'm coming to you from the back of my mare, Rondo, and we're on our weekly ride out the back. And I just thought I'd share this experience with you because it's such a beautiful day today. The sun's out trying to push through the smoke that's around from um, everyone burning off at the moment. But I thought it would be a great time to check in and just share a couple of tips I use when I'm feeling a little outside of my comfort zone and for me riding out the back here and riding outside the arena walls can bring up a little bit of uncertainty and over the years it has been an area where I felt quite nervous and not confident riding out and about and I just thought it'd be great to share a couple of tools with you to help you in your riding if you find that you get a bit um, uncertain riding outside the arena. So the two things I want to share with you, the first one is about your body or the way you're using your body in the saddle, the tension that's coming in to the ride when you're stepping outside your comfort zone, so your physiology. And the second one is your self-talk and how you can control your self-talk to help you or make sure that you have a more positive ride. So the first one, body, body position. For me, it's if I'm feeling nervous, I 100% holding tension in my seat. That's probably the biggest area that shows up for me. And it's the difference between feeling nervous or uncertain and just sitting on the fork of my seat and feeling confident and relaxed and sitting on the back of my seat with really soft bottom muscles. So obviously Rondo feels the difference between feeling a little bit uncertain to feeling relaxed. And, and I sometimes, I need to, every stride, tell myself, relax my bottom muscles, relax, sit on the back of your seat. Um, and it just helps so much. So I find that is a tool we need to, I suppose, work out which part of your body you're holding tension and how you can let go through that through the tension so your horse doesn't feel it and so you can enjoy your ride. And then bring it in with the second tool which is monitoring and controlling your self-talk. Um, if we don't give ourselves something to think about, we'll always think about the what ifs. There's lots of what ifs that can happen around here and if we're in a negative mindset, we'll, we'll turn to thinking what ifs and noticing everything that our horse is looking at and all those kind of nasty little things that can get in our mind and play tricks on us. So I, if I find myself in that kind of what if thought process, I will fill my mind with things that will help me feel more relaxed. So repeating to myself, I've got this, I can handle it, relax. We're, we're fine. All those good things that makes me feel like I'm in control, I can do it, deal with this, whatever happens. And using that with the relaxation of my bottom muscles and reminding myself to sit back and just, just relax my seat uh, gets me into such a better headspace and, and allows me to enjoy this beautiful ride. So I'll show you Rondo here. Hopefully you can see the sun's a little bit in the way so I can't really see what's going on. Um, but she's just enjoying her ride out. She loves it out here. My action step for you today, if you find yourself a little out of your comfort zone when you come out on the rides and, and get outside the arena walls, my action step is to get outside the arena walls this week. It doesn't have to be a big ride. You might even just, I don't know, ride around the outside of the arena. Whatever you can do to put yourself out of your comfort zone and just start to check in and notice what part of your body if you get tense or nervous, what part is tensing up? What's, what's the go-to muscle for you that starts to tense and, and tell your horse that there's something to be worried about? For me, it's my seat, like I explained. What is it for you? It might be your seat, might be your elbows, your shoulders, your thighs, your knees. Just working it out is the first step. And then working out how to let go. It might just be enough to just let go. You might tell yourself, use a, an affirmation to tell yourself to let go. So I would love to hear what you notice in your rides out this week and where you're maybe holding some tension and if you work out a cue or a way to release that tension, I would really love to hear. So please, please share in the comments below or send me a private message. Uh, I hope you have a really great ride and I will see you next week in our sixth episode. So have a great day and I will see you then. Bye.